talk a little bit about rehabilitation, how to move, so that we activate more muscles. So the more muscles that are activated, the mus more muscles we have activated, the, uh, uh, the less stress is on the joints. So when we do a squat, uh, it's really important to do a squat and get everything firing normally. So that, I think of a squat as a warm up, and I want people to be able to do a good healthy squat after, uh, after an injury uh, as part of their recovery. So what I want to do is I want to activate more inner thigh, more external rotators, more uh, vastus medialis, all the things that help stabilize you know, the hips, the knees, and get that normal range of motion back. What I like to do is have the feet uh, be straight ahead. Now, as you squat down, the knees will go out, but I want the knees, to, the feet to be straight ahead. Um, and that helps us as, as you're squatting, going down and coming up. I want to feel like you're going to see a, a be pushing, so you can see you're, you're kind of pushing out. So if you can see me when I do a squat, uh, my, my feet will kind of roll out a little bit on the way back up. So if I squat down, I can squat down, and my knees go out, 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 out. Now, as I come back up, you notice how my I'm pushing out. You can almost see that on my, my shoes pushing out. So as you squat down, knees go out, 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 out. Back is straight. Push back up. And what you did is you yeah. what we did was we activated more muscles. So we got more muscles to fire because we're we're creating that external rotation force and we're contracting our inner thigh muscles. So you can see as as I go down, knees go out, 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 out. And as I come back up, knees come back in. So it's like the knees go out almost the same as they come back in as, they get, as you go up. The old tendency to do a squat would be to put your feet out and squat down um, straight out, and you just don't get as much muscle activation. It's easier to do. It's a lot more likely to injure your knees and your hips, and you don't build a functional uh, neuromuscular uh, pattern. So you want to have a functional neuromuscular pattern that functions in everything we do in life. So I just want to go over why. Why does that happen? Well, if I was going to bring my knee straight forward, uh, most people's hips don't move to 90 degrees. If I go beyond, what is this, about 60, 70 degrees, then my back is going to bend for me to get to 90. But if I go out to the side, my knee, if I go out to the side, you go up much higher. So we can go higher to the side than we can straight. When we run, we kind of adapt to that by turning, but when we squat, we gotta make sure our knees come out. But at the same time, we want to fire more muscles, so as those knees come out, we can go down, increase our range of motion in our hips, but also activate all the muscles to protect our hips and our knees and our pelvis. So that is a squat. Now from the side, you can see how if I have my feet straight and I, do, I apply that external rotation and I squat down, my back can stay relatively straight here. Come up. Whereas if I were to put my feet out, my feet aren't straight, so I'm not activating as many muscles, there's a tendency for me to lean forward more to do that squat versus when I activate more muscles, I can stay more upright to do this one. So that's what I want people to think about as part of your rehab. Now when you start to do this squat, I want you to activate the muscles. I don't care that you can't go down deep enough. Uh, I want you to just be able to go down, come back up. Just get those muscles working. And as you have more muscle firing, you'll notice it's a little bit easier to go deeper and not hurt your hips or your knees or anything else.